What did the Rangers uh, get tonight? The Rangers got themselves a strong part of the foundation going forward. Um, a young man that has a lot of character, a young man that's got a great future ahead of him, and uh, I just really couldn't be more excited about where we're sitting right now. What do you think about his body and maybe how NHL ready he might be? Well, the time will tell that. We, you know, when you draft players, you go through development. We will have a development camp right back in New York uh, coming up very shortly, and uh, we'll take a good hard look. The sky's the limit for this for this fella. So we we feel strong about doing it the right way. I mean, his testing has been really good to this point. He's a very exciting young man. And remember, he's already played in men's leagues, so he he's got a good feel for what it's all about. NHL is a different animal, of course. It's the biggest, the best there is. So we'll see. Uh, I, I just don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but I'm very excited. Now that you guys can kind of speak freely about him, mm -hmm. a finally a Ranger, because what is it about him that made him such a compelling player? Right? Well, he, he's a he, he's he doesn't really have a weakness. He can play wing. He can play center, which is always a good thing. Anytime you find anybody that can play center, that's wonderful. But we'll see where that goes with coaching staffs and things along the way. Um, he can score. He can be a playmaker. A lot of times when you get both in a very skilled player that has size, that has speed, you go, whoa, that's pretty good. we got a heck of a player here. So th there's, there's, you try to look, a lot of times when you study players, you look for weaknesses. Uh, you don't see weaknesses here, when, especially with the number two pick. It's pretty exciting. Does he, when you're picking the number two pick, does he have to be a transformational player? The Rangers, when you pick him, does he have to be Yeah, I, I, I would love to see him be a cornerstone for us. He, he's got that, uh, there's something special about this. When you talk to him, he's very, very even. He knows he's good. He's always played way up above with older people along the way, even as a younger player, he's playing with guys two years, kids uh, two years older than him. He has a chance to be really, really, really good. Uh, but I don't want to sit here and say that he's got to be the best we've ever had in New York in the history of the Rangers. That's just, you, you don't do that to young people. You let them come in there, he's going to show his way. He's going to be a really, really good player. He obviously has high skill level, but did you get excited about his ability to score down low? I get excited about everything he does. Uh, you know, he competes, that's that's one of the, a lot of times you need will along with skill. And uh, he's, he's got a, a real compete level to him. He has, I think he's got a good understanding of the player that he is. When you talk to him and you ask him questions, he's thoughtful, he thinks about it. He's a, he's a, he's a young man that, that I think knows the 200 foot game. A lot of times you find people that have great skill and the coaches go, oh, i got a lot of work to do here. He's got to learn his own end. He's got to do this. He's got to do that. We see a player that, uh, that knows the game. You know, a lot of times the, uh, the country of Finland uh, doesn't have a great population to it, yet they keep winning at all <laughs> levels when they play world championships because they know how to play a team game. And this, this is what we want here. And he's going to fit right in because of that. Yes had his name on your lips for, since April 9th. Yeah. Is there a difference when you actually it? I guess the big difference was when the first pick was taken, that you knew right there. You know, we weren't quite sure. Everybody talked about uh, Jack Hughes going to, to New Jersey, but it hadn't been done. We hadn't heard for sure. So then when that happened, we knew. And we, I think both organizations know that these two kids are, they're, they're at the top for a reason. These are, these are, just terrific, terrific players. Fair to say the expectations for him coming later in the way. Well, I think a lot well, of people think that because he's already played in the in the World Championships, the men's league, and, and had success. I'd love to see it happen, but I'm gonna sit here as as part of the organization that have an understanding that we have a game plan in place. Yes, we'd love to see it, but we still have to be careful and do things right here with anybody that, that we draft or, or sign or, or who comes in. You don't wanna put players in a position where they take too many steps backwards. We want them to every, you know, get better and better and better. There's a chance he'll play, for sure, but we have to wait, calm down, and let this all happen. From your research with him, you talked about population coming into the big city, New York. How is he going to be able to deal with all? I, I think his personality, the studies that we've 
come back with is he's an even keeled young man and he's he's when you're when you're a, a player that's playing up all the time people expect things so he's been through a lot of that stuff new york is new york i think the support from our fans in new york is going to be extraordinary and i think that's going to be a pushing factor to see a young man uh, thrive in that marketplace is if you come in there and you can uh, play the way we think that he can play it's going to be fantastic people are going to really to see that don't forget he's young he's young not jump ahead of us too far let's let things fall into place but I'm, I'm trying to talk myself into that one also. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling you the truth. <laughs> how, how aware are you guys of the fact that they're going to be, Hughes and Kako are going to be kind of connected forever? Yeah, you know, that's true. I was thinking about that this morning. How good is that? Rivalries across the river. I mean, it's going to be talked about for a long, long, long time. I, I think that that's just the greatest. I think it's fantastic. I, I think that's what hockey needs. And, in our area, there's three good hockey clubs. This is going to be really interesting to see how this all, all uh, matures along the way. It's going to be fun.